Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in the Stress and Test Test Automation playlist. Today, we are going to build a test case where we are going to look at some of the pre-existing actions which we can use to build our automation. And for today, we'll be using a application which is present in your Windows, which is the Notepad++ application. So we'll see how we can open this application how we can perform different operations on a windows based uh, tool which is the notepad plus plus okay so uh, let's go to our builder section and here uh, let's look at the predefined actions which we'll be using so uh, we'll be using the start application uh, this can be used to start any particular application okay and then i uh, will be using some of the window based uh, actions like bring to front close maximize minimize uh, resize to default so there are many uh, different actions which you can use to basically perform some operations on a window based uh, application so uh, let's go ahead and build this particular test case okay so i'm going to rename this test case to uh, notepad operations Okay, and then save this, and then uh, let's go ahead and drag our start application action right here. So you can see there are different arguments or different attributes which uh, we need to fill, but out of this, uh, the most important is the path. Okay, so if you give the path, then it will open that application which is present in that particular path. Uh, you can also provide the directory, the arguments, uh, maximum time to exit the log file path where if you want to store some log uh, and the name of it and then if you have got an exit code for your application you can also provide that here but all of these fields are optional okay so what we'll do uh, we will go to our directory and here we will try to find where this uh, particular exe is present right so we will go to uh, program files and there you will find notepad plus plus okay and here uh, you can see this is the application through which we can launch it and that's what we want right so um, i'm going to take this path and then um, i'm going to paste it here and after this we'll also provide the notepad plus plus dot exe okay and uh, we save it so that's our first step which is to start the application now moving on to the next step let's perform some other operations using the predefined actions for window so uh, let's first try to verify if this particular uh, application exists or not and for that we'll use the window verify if exist action so let's drag this here and then uh, there are two module attributes one is the window title and when one is the window index now if you have got multiple instances of the same application you can also provide a index if not you can just provide the window title okay so now um, if i am going to open the notepad here okay so you will notice uh, that uh, this is the window title and it starts with new one and then uh, there is notepad plus plus and then there is administrator right so there is a lot of different text here uh, which might change but the notepad plus plus will not change so we'll use that and then we'll use the regular expression to basically uh, format or to take care of the other text which is dynamic in nature okay so uh, we are going to use notepad here and we'll surround it with this regular expression okay so that completes our second step and after we verify if this application exists or not then uh, what we'll do we will use this window bring to front so what it will do it will bring the application if it is minimized to the front right so it will display the application so again uh, we will use the same notepad title with regular expression and then after this what we will do so let's use some other operations like uh, we will use the minimize option here and then we will use maximize and then uh, resize to default 
okay and then finally we will use this close option okay so I have used a lot of different operations which we can uh, perform using the predefined actions on the window okay and everywhere we just require the window title okay so all the module attributes are same you can use the same window title here and if you have got an index you can also provide that okay so these are all the different actions which are part or which are the steps of my test case so i'm going to save this now and now uh, we are going to close this notepad and we are going to run this whole test case and see if all these predefined actions are working as expected so let's click on the run option here and now the run will be started okay uh, so you can see that the notepad plus plus application was opened in the background okay the test was completed and if you look at the results the first step passed which is to start the application but the next immediate step failed okay now if i go to the view last run and look at the logs uh, you will not find anything specific here so it will say that the start application succeeded but uh, the window uh, verify if exists with caption this does not exist okay now even though the notepad plus plus application is open here it is still not able to identify right but if you look at the test carefully so you will notice that after start application immediately the next step is verifying if that window exists but you need to consider that the notepad plus plus application takes some time to open but the test automation tool is not going to wait because there is no command for it to wait until that window appears or not right so both the application and the tool are not in sync and that is where this particular issue occurs this is a very common issue whenever you are trying to automate any application you need to uh, put some weight between your actions so that both the tools and application are in sync right now luckily we don't need to add any particular step here uh, there is already a step or a predefined action which we can use here so that is window wait until open okay so if i drag this in between the start application and verify if exists action so this will wait until this particular application appears with this specific window title right so i can put this here and then um, we can also use another predefined action which is called wait until closed so what it will do it will wait until the window is closed okay so these are all the actions all the predefined actions which are present uh, as part of your window actions okay and using this you can see you can perform a lot of different things on the window right i'm going to save this and now uh, we are going to run this test case again and this time around you will notice that all the steps will pass okay now if you noticed uh, all the actions were successfully completed you can go through the logs as well so all the test steps were successfully completed and it went very fast so it might not be visible but it came for a brief second and then it performed all the actions and then closed the window right now if i again go to the view last run we can see all the actions which we performed were successful and the same uh, you will find it in the logs okay so uh, this is how you can use the predefined actions uh, something for window there are lots of predefined actions uh, which you can use to perform different operations on any particular window it could be notepad it could be your browser it could be any particular application right so you have to use the start application to start the application and then um, different window operations can be performed using this window predefined actions that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel.
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.